Well, um, I'll tell you, we were going to do a really smart segment in this block with Joel Rosenberg on the uh, president of Iran's speech and the 12th Imam and everything else. But no, no, no. Instead, I have to address the frog gate. That's what we're calling it here, frog gate. You know what, didn't we, didn't we say that we were going to, uh, isn't it like 9-11 truthers and everything else? Birther, deather. we got to change that. Can we change? Thank you. Froggers. Oh, I'm a frogger. In case you missed it, here's what happened last night. Some bloggers in their basements think I actually killed a frog, uh, throwing that frog in there. I was trying to uh, prove my point that frogs jump out of water, boiling hot water, and that, that frog represented us. Well, the Christian Science Monitor uh, wrote this. Here's the headline. Glenn Beck boils cute little frog to death. Or did he? Now, that was added later, or did he? Uh, this morning, they updated the post to uh, say they can't confirm that I didn't kill the frog after they saw the video from another angle. Hmm. The Huffington Post, did Beck just kill a frog? Little green footballs. Glenn Beck, frog killer. You ready? This, after last night's show, and if you saw it, you're going to find this outrageous. This is what was post uh, posted on YouTube last night. Okay, forget the frog. Okay, I, I swear I thought they jumped right out, but they don't. <laughs> Forget about the Republicans, because most of them are fake. Forget about the Democrats, because most of them are fake. <laughs> I swear turkeys could fly. Why did they end the, log, uh, the uh, line there? Why did they end that? Why, why, why did they let it play to the very next sentence in that? And play? forget about the frog, because it was fake. Ah, uh, <laughs> So... Quickly, in case you missed it last night, here is the bit from start to finish, which they should have posted. Okay, yeah, now let me talk. All right, yeah, now look. Didn't so you have the little frogs? I think frogs. it just even jumped out of my hand there. You have the little frogs here. Barack Obama has galvanized the country right now America's because of life. the sheer no. size of the bills he's, he's proposed not. and the number of the bills the urgency that he's been placing on the bills True. he's forced us to think and get involved we have not like John McCain been boiled slowly we have been tossed quickly into boiling water and no. don't forget <gasps> what happens what happens when you throw them in when you throw them in frogs into boiling water People all around. I just the want to show because the ambassador is here, and uh, I know Pete is going to be all over me. By the way, that whole thing with um, you know boiling water in a frog—that's a fable. It's not true. We knew before we uh, we did that. Ambassador, will you verify that's a rubber frog? That's not a real frog. Very, very rubber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Now I just want to show you real quick. Just <laughs> I just. Can we play? This is the uh, clip uh, from uh, us filming before the show. Go ahead and play a little bit of this. This is Harry. Were you on the Were you on the jib yesterday? Yeah. Okay. So this is Harry. As you see, he's trying to get a good shot. Get We're pre-taping this part. I do, Joel. Okay. Uh, show the next. Show the second clip here. Well, it's just like that. This now is in rehearsal. Here, and then you'll go over to the thing. That's the... And then... That's the tape. Now watch where I'm standing have after. The, uh, See? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I needed to have again. a monitor so, so I, I knew here, that I... When I was going to... Can I get a monitor or something? Okay. There you go. Now, I have to show you one other person. The person okay, who good. made it all possible is our director, Sarah. Sarah can... Which... Where is Sarah? There she is. There she is waving... There she is. I think she. I think she's the Steven Spielberg of uh, network news, or at least this network news. Um, everybody. She's the one that made everybody um, think that I killed a frog last night. She's the evil one. Now, some people might expect that PETA would respond to this. Oh, and they did. But are you ready? Last night we got an email from Heather, PETA's uh, communications <laughs> assistant manager. She wrote this. I wanted to drop you a note to let you know we're receiving a lot of complaints uh, about last night's segment on the show in which Glenn allegedly threw a live frog into a pot of boiling water, partially fueled, I'm sure, by speculation from other media outlets. We couldn't tell if he actually did do it, and we know, or we could tell if he didn't actually do it, and we know him to be a kind person. 
But just to set the record straight for people who couldn't tell, do you think he might make a quick statement on the show tonight clarifying that it was a ruse and reiterating that he's against cruelty to animals? Of course I'm against cruelty to animals. I have two dogs and I absolutely love them. I mean, look at me. I'm practically half dog. Thank you, PETA. Now, reason why I wanted to point this out, and I knew this was going to happen. We looked at each other at 7 o'clock yesterday morning, and I said, oh, watch. Watch the blogs. Watch people just go crazy to discredit me, to make me into now some evil frog killer. Look how eager people are to smear. The very next line after the YouTube clip that they cut out makes it clear the frog was fake. <laughs> they had to cut it in the middle of a monologue. All these people think they, they could fool anybody into believing that I'm a frog killer. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. We don't know. But while we're at this, let me just say one thing else to stop the nonsense. I either believe what I say or I'm a fraud. It's one of the two. All the media keeps saying, does he believe it? Does he believe these things? And look at how many people are following him. He's, a, he's zombifying people. Really? I'm zombifying people. So in other words, what you're saying is that I don't believe it, that I'm acting, that my tears are fake and everything else, but I've convinced millions of people in America that I'm being real. Well, you know what? It's time for the television industry and all the, all the press and everybody else to put your money where your mouth is. If I'm acting, then I'm the best damn actor on television. I want the daytime Emmy. I want the Emmy. Put your money where your mouth is. Give me the coveted Emmy for Daytime Actor of the Year. Put it on my frickin' desk right here by the cute little frog that we killed last night. Or shut the pie hole.